Nigeria would be the very first vocational school to embark on this. Ladies and gentlemen, the shift to, industry, to the fourth industry revolution is really unprecedented and so it's really upon us today. There are three elements to the IR 4.0. The very first is, of course, the speed of innovation and the speed of the network, where it is powering billions of people around the world to connect, to collaborate, and to communicate, regardless of where they are. The second is the widespread of the new technology innovation that's happening in things like Internet of Things or IoT, blockchain, AI or artificial intelligence, virtual and augmented reality, biological and physical innovations such as 3D printing is all upon us today. And the third, what we're seeing is a systematic change where our entire system, such as companies, businesses, societies and countries, will be impacted and are transforming to meet the needs of the fourth industrial revolution. Thus, in facing the needs of Industry 4.0, the skills imparted to the Microsoft curriculum will be invaluable to these students. It will not just be, it will not just set them apart from their peers, but will provide them with the right ammunition needed to achieve greatness, both nationally and internationally. Technological education is the way forward and Microsoft is proud to be, to be in the forefront of this and providing this as a service. Ladies and gentlemen, Microsoft's partnership with the Ministry of Youth and Sport is stamped in our commitment to further Malaysia's digital transformation mission and in line with EN50 and to prepare students for the digital economy, giving them the freedom and the flexibility to design, invent, and build the technology. Going forward, we believe that 90% of all jobs will require digital competency. As part of TN50, and as a step towards becoming a developed nation, we need our students to be ready to face the, to face the digital transformation head on. We also believe the policy makers play a critical role in future proving policies that has a huge impact on the digital workforce. As we become a high income digital economy, the public-private partnership plays an important role in the nation building, and we are truly honored to be part of this partnership as Microsoft celebrates its 25 years in Malaysia. So once again, I would like to thank Dr. Kolmat for believing in Microsoft. We look forward to empowering students and teachers to achieve the nation's goal in PN50. With that, thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Salam sejahtera dan salam negara pusat Malaysia. Mr. K. Rahman. Managing Director of Microsoft Malaysia, Puan Amona, Dr. Wasita, akan-akan daripada Kementerian Belia dan Sukan Microsoft Malaysia. First and foremost, let me express my appreciation to Microsoft Malaysia for hosting us here today on what I can only describe as a very, very special occasion for the Ministry of Youth and Sports, especially for our Institute Latihan, KBS. Hari ini merupakan satu hari yang sangat bersejarah bagi institut-institut latihan kemahiran belia dan sukan ILKBS. Hari ini kita mengambil langkah untuk mengukuhkan dan menambah baikkan ILKBS supaya bersedia menghadapi industri tempat berkembang kosong serta membina tenaga kerja untuk masa depan. We're taking a very important step not only to enhance our training and education institutions but to future-proof the students and graduates of these centers as we embrace Industry 4.0. And who better to partner than with a global technological brand like Microsoft. Since the launch of TN50 by our Prime Minister last year, we have engaged with more than 1.7 million young Malaysians and gathered over 60,000 unique aspirations. We have also collaborated with various companies that have stepped up to turn some of these aspirations into reality today. For instance, we worked together with Cellcom to look at cyber security and online safety, especially for kids. We worked together with Bank Pamuna to showcase the workplace of the future, both in terms of its physical manifestation and also in terms of its non-physical aspects of allowing for a better work-life balance. And we've recently worked together with Sime Derby Property to showcase the township of the future at the city of Elmina recently. Today, together with Microsoft Malaysia, 
we will be building Malaysia's workforce of the future. And I'm proud to say that this program is a KBS TN50 initiative. Bagi mencapai TN50, bahagian pembangunan kemahiran belia juga perlu merancang agar latihan kemahiran yang ditawarkan di ILKBS sentiasa mengikuti perkembangan industri dan perlu melaksanakan strategi agar graduan yang dihasilkan seiring dengan kejuan industri terkini. Dengan peningkatan kemajuan teknologi industri pembuatan dan perkilangan, pengusaha-pengusaha perniagaan tempatan kini percaya bahawa mereka perlu menaik tarafkan sistem perniagaan mereka ke arah digital supaya tidak ketinggalan dalam arus revolusi perindustrian keempat. Bagi memastikan ILKBS turut terlibat dan terbabit dalam industri 4.0, usaha KBS untuk mentransformasikan kaedah pembelajaran dan pengajaran ke operasi digital melalui kerjasama dengan Microsoft Malaysia dilancarkan pada hari ini. Whether you're talking about smart factories, the Internet of Things, digital economy, hyperconnectivity, concepts that are commonly identified with IR 4.0, many organizations globally are already embracing these changes, bringing people and machines together as they continue to innovate and accelerate this revolution. Any country or company that is not striving towards industry 4.0 is not innovative by today's standards and will be left behind. We have to apply that same sense of urgency, not just to companies, but also to policy making and also to our skills and training institutes. Apakah tujuan KBS bekerjasama dengan Microsoft Malaysia dan apakah matlamat digital IL KBS? Yang pertamanya adalah untuk mewujudkan satu ekosistem pembelajaran di IL KBS sesuai dengan keperluan industri 4.0. Yang kedua, melaksanakan pembelajaran secara distance learning bagi pelajar-pelajar ILKBS di seluruh negara. Serta yang ketiga, memberi nilai tambah dalam kurikulum teknologi maklumat di ILKBS dalam persediaan menghadapi industri 4.0. Tempoh pelaksanaan digital ILKBS adalah selama tiga tahun. Starting today until December 2020. This is our plan to transform our ILKBS so that we can provide the best training, the best vocational courses in line with industry 4.0. This is an important step in the direction of promoting STEM education in Malaysia, and the partnership with Microsoft today is divided into three separate scopes. Scope yang pertama adalah kesedaran dan pengetahuan digital berdasarkan keperluan industry 4.0. Bagi memastikan tenaga kerja bersesuaian dengan keperluan industry 4.0, Pengetahuan dan kemahiran dalam bidang ICT perlu diperlengkapkan seperti cloud, big data, the internet of things. Untuk itu, bahagian pembangunan kemahiran akan memperkukuhkan kurikulum ILKBS dengan menggunakan modul Microsoft Imagine Academy yang merangkumi productivity pathway, an IT infrastructure pathway, computer science pathway, and data science pathway. Objektif khusus ini adalah bagi memberi pendidahan terhadap belia agar mengetahui subjek-subjek kemahiran untuk masa depan. Kursus ini akan dibuka kepada pelajar sedia ada di ILKBS dan sekiranya bersesuaian, kursus ini juga akan ditawarkan kepada belia setempat dan pekerja industri yang berbeda. This program stands to benefit over 10,000 students over three years. That's our projections. Uh, that's our projection. And uh, the eight ILKBS that will be involved in the first school will be IKTP Hong Sepang, Dusun Tua, Pagok, Jembok, Bukit Tajam, Miri, Jitra, and Temulok. And we'll be running this project for three years until December 2020. Scope yang kedua adalah penyampaian latihan teknikal secara distance learning. Objektif modul ini adalah bagi menggunakan secara optimum sumber yang ada di ILK PS. Ianya melibatkan pembelajaran secara online learning di mana perkongsian nota pembelajaran, video, animasi, grafik dan sebagainya dapat memberi manfaat kepada pelajar ILKBS di pelbagai lokasi dengan menggunakan Skype for Business, OneNote dan juga aplikasi-aplikasi yang lain. Khusus tersebut dijangka akan bermula pada Julai 2018 di empat buah ILKBS iaitu IKTBN Sepang, Pagok, IKTBN Citra dan IKTBN Miri. Skop yang ketiga pula adalah the most exciting one is Pelaksanaan Industri 4.0. Konsep Pelaksanaan Industri 4.0 di ILKBS 
akan diterjemahkan dengan mewujudkan a smart factory di bengkel mechanical manufacturing yang melibatkan mesin computer numerical control atau CNC. Untuk itu mesin-mesin akan diubah suai dan retrofit mengikut keperluan industri 4.04.0 seperti menambah baik interface panel kawalan. Aplikasi IR 4.0 seperti data collection dari mesin CNC di bengkel 4 buah ILKBS akan diproses dan dianalisa menggunakan platform Microsoft Cloud Solution. Hasil analisa akan dipaparkan melalui aplikasi dan mobile apps yang dibangunkan oleh Microsoft melalui kerjasama ini. We also have to ensure that our institutions have the proper IT and tech infrastructure to ensure the smooth and uninterrupted running of these programs. So to that end, we will be retrofitting and upgrading existing machines to be compatible with IR 4.0. We will be improving and enhancing the ICT infrastructure to be able to run CNC machining workshops. We will be incorporating apps and interface modules for practical training sessions, which will include smart machine control, monitoring, and supervision. Module ini dijangka akan bermula next year, July of 2019, after we've retrofitted our machines in empat buah LKBS, yaitu IKTBN Sepang, Pago, IKTBN Jitra, dan juga IKTBN Miri. All of these uh, institutions were selected to be part of this uh, digital ILKBS because they have a special focus on mechanical manufacturing. We are starting with technical vocational courses first, simply because Industry 4.0 is already come up upon us and we must be ready for it. We believe that it is imperative for young Malaysians to be equipped with the most up-to-date knowledge and tools to prepare them for the future and by providing vocational schools with the latest guidance, the latest software, this landmark partnership with Microsoft, I am confident, will help mold students into becoming Malaysia's frontline workforce and entrepreneurs who are not just technologically prepared, but also capable and equipped to tackle the challenges of Industry 4.0. Dengan terlaksana program di hadapan uh, dengan terlaksananya program ini diharap ILKBS dapat memenuhi keperluan pembelajaran mengikut perkembangan dan kehendak industri pada masa ini yang lebih ke arah revolusi perindustrian keempat. Program ini juga diharap dapat menghasilkan tenaga kerja yang memenuhi keperluan dan perkembangan industri masa kini dan juga masa depan. Sekali lagi saya ingin mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Microsoft Malaysia kepada Cik Rahman dalam uh, kerjasama yang dapat kita lancarkan pada hari ini to not just digitalize ILKBS tetapi untuk menyediakan tenaga kerja untuk masa depan. What we are doing today is nothing short of preparing the workforce for the future. And my uh, my aspiration in coming up with the idea of uh, bringing our TVET institutions up to speed with the demands of Industry 4.0 was that so so that our TVET institutions were not left behind, uh, so that we can really start the planning and the implementation today with all the tools and technology available to us, of course with the cooperation from companies like Microsoft Malaysia, in enabling the TVET institutions to provide the necessary training for young Malaysians so that they will future-proof themselves. Let's face it, we don't know what most of the jobs are going to be like by the year 2050. And it's going to be very, very difficult for us to speculate which jobs will be replaced by artificial intelligence, which jobs will be replaced by automation and by robots. What we can do is to provide a strong set of competencies and skills amongst our young people so that whatever disruptions come their way, they will be at least equipped with the basic skills necessary for whatever the future workplace might look like. And that's why this collaboration is very important. Microsoft has the technology, Microsoft has the tools, and most importantly, Microsoft has the passion to want to contribute towards national development and towards the FAP. So thank you very much to Microsoft for coming forward, joining us in uh, fast-forwarding our TVET institutions into a TVET institution for the future. And I sincerely believe that this next
transformation journey for our IKBI will be a successful one. We completed the first phase between 2013 and 2016 to further align our TVET institutions, IKBI, with industry. That was a great success. Increasing our employability rate from 88% to now 93%, or 85% to 93%, uh, by creating better linkages with industry, better on the job training, better employment opportunities. Now it's about taking our IKBN and our TVET institutions further into the transformation journey, not just in terms of industry linkages, but in terms of preparing our students to IKBN for industry focus. So, to look at the Microsoft, and thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.